folks, Scott here with the My Monthly Hero July 2019 kit. This kit takes us to the lake this month. Lots of inks, lots of stuff in our kit this month. Our stamp set this month is a color layering stamp set with mountains, two layers for the mountains and trees and a dock. We are definitely, life is better at the lake. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six sentiments kids jumping into the lake. <laughs> There's a Loch Ness monster right there. We've got some water ripples. Of course, our dock, a few ducks and a flying duck. Um, man and his dog fishing. Cattails. Definitely a really nice scene builder. Life is better at the lake. Our big six by eight inch clear stamp set. And of course, we get matching dies for all of the images in the set and we also get these two fancy dies that'll cut out the mountain range cut out the trees also two fancy dies they don't have any bottom to them so you can make them as long as you like we have five hero arts ink cubes my monthly hero in dusty blue lime green cocoa forest and sandstone perfect for our layering images here we get card stocks the nice hero hues card stocks we get four sheets of eight and a half by five and a half these are in meadow and lapis lapis blue and meadow green we also get blue pearl embossing powder. I'm going to have to see what that looks like. Well, that's very interesting. It looks like blue pearl. <laughs> Look at that. Very water-like blue pearl. That's our contents for the My Monthly Hero uh, July 2019 kit. Looks like we're headed to the lake. Don't forget your swimsuit. So here's my 10 cards featuring the My Monthly Hero July 2019 kit. I'm sorry this is posted a little late. I didn't get my kit until the 12th of this month, and we had relatives staying in town the weekend of the 19th. So the craft room becomes the guest room, and I get absolutely nothing done. But grab your tackle box. Let's go fishing. Card number one is on a white card base, and we've got... It's your birthday, relax and enjoy. A nice lake scene card, very much I think what this kit was created to do. So on a white card panel, I ink blended my sky using my Simon Says Stamp hybrid inks. I used the watermelon, the orange slush and the lemon zest to ink blend that sky. I did use the dusty blue ink that was included in our kit and blended in the lake below the sky. And then I went ahead and embossed those two big ripple stamps with that pearl blue embossing powder, blue pearl embossing powder. Really interesting embossing powder. I thought what was most interesting was that on white, that's what you get. On black, it gives you a very blue color. I thought that was very interesting. Of course, I didn't use it on a card, but I thought you might like to see that. <laughs> I used the dies to cut the trees out of some dark green cardstock. One of the great things about having these dies is that you can take the negative die that you cut and flip it around and use it to blend in a little bit of a reflection on your lake. Great dies. I really liked those. After I blended in the tree reflection on the lake. I added more color to the lake using my Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink and added some of the sky colors to the back here as well. So the sky is reflecting in the lake too. I have to admit I got a little bit obsessed with reflections in the lake <laughs> with this kit. <laughs> I did stamp the boat and the fisherman and the fish with onyx black ink right directly on the card front. I did add some more of that blue pearl embossing powder using my Versamark pen. Just draw that in. I drew that little splash there that's underneath of the fish. Stamped the sentiment with onyx black ink as well. I glued the two die cut tree lines to the back here. Stamped the birds onyx black ink. I like the colors on this. I did add some fishing line there from the pole 
to the fish. You can see it right there. I just used a needle and sewed those through the back of the card before I attach that panel down to my white card base. This is an oval cut with the oval die that we got in the My Monthly Hero May of 18 kit. So that's that oval die piece of dark gray card stock for a little frame for this, all mounted to a white card base. It's your birthday, relax and enjoy. Of course, I couldn't leave it at just that. I thought there was a nice little pun to be had with this. So on the inside we get Keep it real, <laughs> which is actually a really nice birthday sentiment, I think, and a terrific pun for a fishing card, catching fish on the lake with a beautiful sunset in the background. Now, when Hero Arts released their kit over on the Hero Art Kit Fanatics Facebook page, Joss Mary Gonzalez uh, posted a picture of this guy in a boat on a lake in Canada with beautiful Aurora Borealis in the sky. I had been thinking about Aurora Borealises for a while and wondering how to do them on a card, so I thought I would jump into the challenge. This is card number two. Greetings from my happy place. <laughs> and my Aurora Borealis card really came out very nicely. I'm very pleased with this. I took a black card panel and I used Hero Arts Unicorn White. I used Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide Ink and Abandoned Coral Distress Oxide Ink. And I used my tiniest little cheapo blender brushes to work those inks onto this black cardstock. I think it came out really nicely. I wish I could get it to light up. <laughs> it kind of does there. Oh, I was so very pleased with this. I think this looks like the Northern Lights. Everybody I've shown it to seems to say, oh, look, the Northern Lights. <laughs> we do have our little boat and our fisherman down there, too. That's stamped on some white cardstock with VersaFine Onyx Black ink, so it would have a white edge. And then use the cracked pistachio ink to edge the white edges of the fussy cut boat. I think that adds a nice highlight there. You can certainly see them. I did try to blend in a little bit of that northern light reflection in the lake down below. I added stars with my extra fine point white sharpie. I didn't think to add the stars before I started doing the Aurora Borealis, <laughs> but this came out really nice. This, of course, is the mountain die, just die cut from a piece of black cardstock. I trimmed his fishing pole off and uh, just left a little nub at the end. It's an oar or something that he's using to row around the lake. Our really nice northern lights. Greetings from my happy place. That's trimmed down and mounted to a dark blue color card base. Wish you were here. Stamped on the inside. That's one of the sentiments from the kit. My Aurora Borealis. Happy place card. <laughs> now all of the dies and stamps in this kit are generally sized to work on a portrait card. They're no wider than uh, four and a quarter inches wide. I of course always want to try to use them on a landscape card. I mean after all these are landscapes, aren't they? <laughs> On a white card base, we've got Life is Better at the Lake with that mirror finish on the lake. Oh my goodness, I really like that. Oh, I actually reached for some of the new Hero Arts Hero Hughes cardstock. We got some with our Venice kit this year. I used the mustard cardstock for the sky. I used the Arctic cardstock for the lake. I actually stamped the sentiment using VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then added embossing powder to that whole piece, that blue pearl embossing powder that looks so much like water to me. I just thought it came out. It was so interesting. Of course, I double stamped this tree line. This is just the mountains. I used mostly the ink included in the kit to stamp these. Those are, of course, die cut. For the sky, I used some of the orange slush hybrid ink to blend a little ink in the sky. I added a couple of those birds. Love the bird stamps in this set. 
stamped a couple of those birds with that same orange slush ink in the background there. I stamped the dock and the cattails and the grasses and the little buoy line all on white cardstock. Using the inks from the kit, I used orange marmalade distress oxide ink to stamp these buoys and then took a white gel pen and just created some stripes on those, a little bit of alcohol marker to give little shadows underneath them. I really like the feel of this card and how that dock is like inviting you into the water. That cold blue water that looks like a glacier lake, that color is definitely reading cold. But like an open door, that dock is inviting you into the lake. Life is better at the lake. This is all glued down to a white card base. I like the fact that the sentiment is under the water, so to speak. <laughs> and there we have our stamps and dies in a landscape format. Now, if you've been watching me, you know that when our kits are all about a scene, I sometimes start thinking in little vignettes in order to get 10 different cards for you all. So this is my first vignette this month. This is on a white card base. This is a plain, flat, one-layer card. Jump in. And of course, we've got to finish that with, you can't make a splash without getting wet. <laughs> it's that sentiment from the stamp set that inspired this card from me. Of course, that's the little girl jumping into the lake stamp. I simply used my little homemade ripple stencil that I created a couple of months ago. I used that in a couple positions here used some of the dusty blue ink from the kit and some cracked pistachio Distress Oxide ink to ink in a little area of water there. I didn't create any barrier, just let it fade out. I did move the stencil into a couple of places, so we got some good texture there. Stamped the girl and the sentiment with onyx black ink. Jump in, I love all the white space on that. And I love the finish to this sentiment. You can't make a splash without getting wet. I, of course, printed this using my Silhouette software. This is the Arial font and the Brush Geo font. I'll have links to that Brush Geo font over on my website at cardcutups.com. Simple, one layer card, totally flat, jump in. You can't make a splash without getting wet. <laughs> what a great encouragement card and a really fun, nice, flat, keep it simple, stupid card. <laughs> now, that's actually five of the six sentiments in our kit. So how about some puns? I do have plans for that last sentiment, but let's play with some puns here. I'm not finished creating scenes yet either <laughs> on a white card base. We have avoid peer pressure. <laughs> I couldn't resist using this little pun. Now on a white card panel, I did take that dusty blue ink and inked in the lake. I did take my homemade ripple stencil and inked that in again over the lake with that same ink and gave some nice texture to our lake. I did take the little ripple stamps and embossed the blue pearl embossing on those stamps in the lake. Again, this is the tree stamps and dies, the mountain stamps and dies. Decided to create two little islands out there. Birds, of course, are stamped in onyx black ink. I printed this sentiment using my Silhouette software. This is actually the Arial and the Blackjack font. I don't like the R on the Brush Geo font, so I'll go to the Blackjack font instead. The two kids are stamped with onyx black ink. I stamped the dock and the cattails and the grasses using the inks from the kit directly on the card, no die cuts, so there's no white outlines on those. This inner tube was not quite the right 
perspective to have it floating in the water and none of the kids could fit inside of it so I stamped it a couple of times using barely beige ink and then colored it in using my alcohol markers and fussy cut it out I thought leaning it up against that pier on the dock here was a perfect place for that inner tube to hang out Avoid peer pressure, <laughs> nice little pun. And of course, for a little more peer pressure, we've got Wish You Were Here. <laughs> really fun card. I love that pun. <laughs> okay, I'm still on a bit of a vignette kick. <laughs> so for our next card, we are on that lapis card base. This is one of the sheets of lapis hero hues cardstock that came in the kit. On that card base, we've got I Believe in You, featuring that really adorable Loch Ness Monster stamp. <laughs> I thought the addition of that stamp in this kit was totally whimsical, extremely cute. I loved it, but I thought it was a little out of scale to all of the other stamps in the set, so I decided to feature it all by itself. I did take that Arctic Hero Hues cardstock and I die cut a circle from that. I ink blended the late using the dusty blue ink from our kit. Left the sky, no color in the sky. This is the hill die that I cut out of the meadow cardstock included in the kit. I added a little bit of unicorn white ink to the bottom of that to make it just a little bit misty. I, of course, did add a little bit of sparkle to the water. <laughs> I did stamp the little Nessie stamp using the forest green ink from our kit, and I embossed that with some clear embossing powder. I then used a couple of my circle dies to cut a little frame for that. That's actually out of some real wood sheets. Put those all together, glued the hills and a little hole punch sun in the sky into that vignette. I sent this cardstock through my printer and printed the I Believe in You sentiment on the bottom. That's back to the brush geo font with the aerial. I try to match my sentiments with the style of the sentiments in the kit. I thought this worked really good. I believe in you who doesn't need a nice encouragement card. Nothing on the inside. A fun little vignette card featuring Nessie out in the lake. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> I really liked the it's your birthday sentiment. I don't think I have a stamp like that in my stash at all. So I actually went in and did a little stamp surgery and cut the relax and enjoy away from that stamp. I can always stick them back together to stamp them that way. But I wanted to do a straightforward birthday card for this next card. On a white card base, we've got it's your birthday. Whee! <laughs> That's a double slider card mechanism there. Now, I rarely use pattern paper in my Hero Arts kits, but this was kind of perfect for this kind of card. This is actually the Doodlebug Designs Fairy Tale Collection. I got this in a Simon Says Stamp kit way back in September of 2017. I, of course, hang on to all my extras. <laughs> I die cut that with a stitched rectangle die, matted that on black, and added our fun little jumping boy. It's your birthday. Yay! Now, this is actually quite simple. I do have a double slider card tutorial on my channel here. This is how I go about most all of my double slider cards. I cut a half inch channel notch in the top and bottom of a card panel. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. Add a pull tab to the back. This is usually a double piece of cardstock. I just fold it in half and glue it together. Now for this card, all we have on the pattern paper is a slit. I cut that slit with my craft knife. It's right at the center of the card. So I figured we could cover up that slit with our sentiment banner. Just cover it barely by the bottom. 
and that would give us room for the young man to jump out from behind. So I marked where that center slit is on my mechanics piece. Just put the two pieces together, drew a pencil through those lines. We see that that's where that slit happens on our functioning piece. If we take our little boy's stamp that's been partially die cut with a nice long tab left at the bottom, he slides into that little slot. Now we want him to not come out of that slot. We want him to stay about right there or so because the banner will cover him up completely. And then if the banner's right there, we do want to see all of him when he comes out. So let's just mark him right there. That's where we want him to stick to our conveyor belt. That's the line that shows us where that top of the banner is. Just cut this off. I've got some double-sided score tape on the back of this piece with our pull tab all the way at the top. That's where it stops. We're going to add him to the black trash bag conveyor belt just so his shoulders and arms are above the center line there. We've got double stick tape on the back of that. Try and get that just on. There we go. Of course, he doesn't have to travel that far, but that line of glue right there will stop him from going any further. So if you take your, this would be your pattern paper, slide your jumper through the little slit, and we would go up, and it stops because the glue line is right there, and back down. And if we put that banner on the top, you can see that it hides him completely and he comes out completely. It hides him completely. He comes out completely. I hope that's a pretty good explanation for you. I've been doing these double slider cards in various configurations for a number of years. I always love the little magic it seems to bring when you pull the tab one way and something moves in the opposite direction. I think it's quite a surprise on this card. I think this card would tickle most whimsical adults. It's your birthday. Wee! <laughs> and look at that pattern paper. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I had another pun that I wanted to use really, really, really bad. I thought about this card for a whole day at work. I couldn't get it out of my mind. This is, again, a single layer card, absolutely flat on a white card base. We've got ponds have more fun. <laughs> uh, tickles me to no end. What can I say? <laughs> I'm a cheap date. Ponds have more fun with a nice little pond, cattails, grasses, and a little family of ducks living in that pond. Now, I knew I was going to print this sentiment. This, again, is the Arial font and that great Brush Geo font, very similar to the sentiments in our kit. I knew I was printing that, so I used my Silhouette software to actually draw a really thin blue line. I think you can see it there that defined the shape of my pond, a nice blue line ellipse. And then I could take my alcohol markers to that and color it in. I used, of course, the green inks from our kit to stamp the cattails and the grasses around the edges. I did use one of my Pigma Micron brown pens to color in, there's the brown pen, a Pigma Micron brown pen to add some detail to the grasses and to color in the cattails brown. The ducks are all stamped in VersaFine Onyx Black ink, a really fun pun. A really pretty card. I love this pond floating in the middle of this card. Bonds have more fun. Nothing on the inside. This would make a great wish you were here card. This would make a great greetings from my happy place. This would make a great card for a blonde biologist. <laughs> Aqua biologist. There you go. Bonds have more fun. <laughs> 
Now, of course, I'm anal retentive, so I always do a little research when I find out what our kid is going to be and look at pictures and do a little Google search on lakes and sunsets on lakes and sunrises on lakes. And I came across this one picture that had a perfectly still lake with the stars in the sky reflected perfectly in the lake. I thought that would make a really interesting card. On a white card base, we've got Cast Away Your Troubles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I am totally thrilled with how this card came out. The starry sky seems so vast when it's reflected in the lake as well. Well, first, of course, I spattered this black card panel using my permanent white gouache paint. I love using this for making stars, especially for spattering stars. I used a very thin brush and covered this whole panel with stars. This is the Hill Die, and I of course took the negative and did a little bit of Hero Arts Unicorn Ink blending on the lake. I stamped our boat and fisherman using onyx black ink on that same dark gray cardstock and die cut him out and then used a thin gel pen to add little highlights on his hat and fishing pole and the boat and then used the negative of that die cut to add a little white reflection on the lake again. So there's a little reflection of the hills, a little bit of a reflection of the fisherman and his dog in their canoe. I glued the hills and our fisherman directly to the card base. I did add some of that invisible thread. There you go, you can see it to the fishing pole and then he big swoops with it through the card as if he was making a big cast. I don't know if cast fishing is a thing in the middle of the night, but this guy thinks it's going to work for him. <laughs> I did print this sentiment using my Silhouette software. I printed it in white on a black background. Cast away your troubles. Those same fonts again. I did cut that into a banner using my Lawn Fawn Everyday Messages dies. I added that to the card front using some foam tape. Cast away your troubles. And of course we could say life is better at the lake. <laughs> Living in New York City, I don't get the opportunity to see a sky full of stars as often as I would like. <laughs> a nice punny sentiment without being a laugh riot. <laughs> Okay, so we still have that one sentiment left in our stamp set to use. That sentiment is sending a splash of love. This was my idea when I first saw that sentiment. And for our last card on a white card base, we've got sending a splash of love. It is an interactive card and we've got splash. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's a double slider card with a double action. The little girl goes into the water as the splash comes up. Oh my goodness, I adore this card. Sending a splash of love. And if you look closely, there's little bitty hearts in that splash. I did do a how-to as I was putting this together. I'll try to make this as quick and painless as possible. <laughs> now, I did do a little mock-up of this card to see if I could make it work before I committed to my actual card. There's our little jumper and our little splash. The splash comes up as the jumper goes down. <laughs> the big secret there is that the splash has tabs that go through these slots and then fold over on themselves and attach to the back of your little conveyor belt here. So it moves up and down and the little swimmer on the front jumps in as the splash comes up. So that's my little template. These are my pieces for the card. I'm going to head and put them all together. This is our main panel here. Now, since we don't need the 
conveyor belt to go all the way to the top, I stopped the conveyor belt right in the center of the card. So this line here is right in the center of the card. That's two and three quarter inches. This is a little half inch slot right in the center of the card. That gives me room for a nice half inch piece of plastic. And then I added the slots for the wave on either side of the center. So those are just a half an inch from the center to the right, a half an inch to the left. There is an inch between those two slots. Now the reason I put these slits an inch apart is because that's how wide she is. This is our bottom that will go on the bottom here. I use that water dye from our Venice kit to cut some of the Arctic cardstock and I used summer sky ink to ink behind that on this panel glued that down to that I did stamp our sentiment right in the center below that that's our front panel this is our jumping girl I stamped her using some barely beige ink and then colored her in with my pigma micron pens and a couple of alcohol markers just to give her a little color I liked her much better than just a silhouette for this card Okay, now I'm going to stop here and tell you that I made a mistake and had to correct it during my filming of the assembly of this card. And what I should have done was I should have done the girl stamped directly on the pull tab. The girl and the pull tab should all be the same. Since they're traveling together, it makes sense to make them all the same. So that's the only difference that I came up with after, of course, I built this card. It's easier to do this girl and the pull tab all on the same piece. Let's get back to putting this together. The splash I cut out of that Arctic cardstock as well. I just freehanded that and then added this long tab along the bottom. This is what's going to fold behind and actually hold on to the back of the conveyor belt. So let's take that, set that right at our center line, throw a piece of tape on that to mark that. I'm going to flip that over and then just take one of my styluses, just score our wave piece where it needs to fold. You could measure this, but hey, this is going to work perfectly. <laughs> and then we'll fold that on the score lines we just made and make sure it fits into our slots very nicely. I have a half inch strip of plastic bag. This is uh, black just because it's nice and sturdy. It's not really, really terribly thin. Feed it through that top slot there and then we're going to attach it on the back. All of the mechanics are on the front of this conveyor belt, so we're gonna put our little seam on the back of this. Okay, we need to speed this up or we're gonna be here for another half an hour. You wanna complete that conveyor belt using score tape. You want it to be snug but not tight. You want it to be free enough to move. Burnish that down, trim it off. When you attach the girl, you need to make sure that your seam on the back of the conveyor belt is at the bottom because she attaches to the top on the front. So when she goes down, the seam goes up and the seam won't get in your way. Of course, she should be attached to the pull tab, but that's my fault. You pull her all the way down to the bottom and then attach the splash piece. One side of that attaches directly to the conveyor belt. The other side of that attaches to the other piece of the splash piece. Check and make sure that both pieces work nicely. There they go. They slide past each other just fine. This is where I got into trouble without having that pull tab attached to the girl. The gig is, is you don't want any seams that can get caught on that splash piece as they move past each other. I fiddled around and got it to work, added some powder for some dry lubricant to help everything move nicely. That works very well now. Let's go ahead and start assembling this card. There it is some foam tape on the front. Let's trim off our pull tab to the right length and we can go ahead and stamp the pull on that. That's my favorite things interactive labels stamp set. Nice and simple on the front and of course we need a thumb notch on the very front of the card. So I just mark the center of that, 
punch a half inch circle in the front there with a little half inch punch. I'm going to have to do the same thing with the card base. So I'll just copy that punch from the front to the card base, punch that out with my half inch punch, and we can attach everything together. I cover the back of this with plenty of foam tape just to give plenty of room for that slider to move. I like leaving handles on my foam tape, especially when I'm attaching such a large piece to another piece. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Make sure it fits all the way around, and then you can just slide those handles out and make sure it's all connected down. I'll do the same to the half front piece. A little couple of handles there. It works. Sending a splash of love. There you go, it works. Pull out those last two handles. Give it all a nice little press. There's our card. Sending a splash of love. Kapush. <laughs> Well, I hope that wasn't too confusing. I hope you like this card as much as I do. Sending a splash of love. It's not often that I can use a sentiment from a stamp set and actually make something interactive with it. Sending a splash of love. <laughs> So that's my 10 cards using the My Monthly Hero July 2019 card kit. I'm really pleased with these cards. I'm thrilled with the variety. I really love this stamp set. I actually got to use every single stamp in this stamp set. Woohoo! Covered all the stamps in these 10 cards. I'm thrilled with this. I hope you like these too. This kit, of course, sold out almost immediately, but if you do go shopping at Hero Arts, please use my link in the description down below. It helps support this channel so much. <laughs> and you can buy anything you want through that link, not just the kits. <laughs> Let me know which cards you like best. Let me know if you have any questions or are confused about those double slider cards. I love adapting that double slider mechanism. You give me a couple of stamps of kids jumping and I'm gonna want to make them jump. <laughs> Bye golly. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for sharing your time with me as always. Please like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends. Don't swim until 30 minutes after eating. And as always, happy crafting. If you'd like more detailed information, better pictures, and product links, please visit my website at cardcutups.com.